Hey guys, Austin here, and welcome back to another Subnautica Flow mod update video here on the channel. This is actually a pretty big one, so big, in fact, they had to already have a hotfix patch put out for it, so that is the version we are going over today. But I still wanted to go over everything in the previous version as well, so we're doing kind of a dual mod showcase today of the two updates, but the one is just a patch update, so it's kind of just one update. Either way, if you guys have been enjoying, leave a like, subscribe if you do, let's get right into this so this is update version 1.2.7 that i'm in but most of this content is from version 1.2.6 so if that's in the title and or thumbnail that is why and of course as always we're in update version or of minecraft 1.20.1 and i forgot to change this but this is called the age of architect update I, I forgot to change my sign, but let's go over everything that's in it. So I won't go over the hotfixes specifically because they'll take too much time, but just know that some things that were broken are now fixed if you're playing in the version before this. But let's go over the mobs first and foremost. The Reaper Leviathan has made his way to Fortnite. You heard me right, folks. Here he is. 300 health, and yes, I said Fortnite on purpose. Get triggered. Anyway, here he is, Reaper Leviathan. He's finally in the game now. Let's go over what he can do. Reaper Leviathans are aggressive and will grab the player and drag it around. It's pretty terrifying. And also, we don't want to see it dying for 100 years, so we're just going to KO that thing right now. Next up, the Spinefish. So Spinefish and the Hopfish are both passive. This is what they both look like. They're pretty cute fish. They aren't going to do any harm to you. They both have five health each. After that, we have the Triops. So Triops will fight back when attacked. This is what it looks like. It's a pretty cute fish. It has 25 health bars. And then after that, we have the Ghost Leviathan. Ghost Leviathans are aggressive Leviathans. This is what it looks like on land. Pretty terrifying. It has 300 health. And it is a massive creature. After that, we have the Ghost Leviathan Juvenile. This is the baby form of it. And it is 200 health. Still a very strong and crazy creature. And then finally, we have Al Ann, otherwise known as Alan. Here he is. This is him in his final form. Uh, spoilers if you never played Subnautica, but uh, this is Alan. He has 100 health. Alan is a Procuser that will trade with the player with XP, so you can actually trade with him. As you can see, you can get an Ion Cube for 20 experience levels, a Robot Lake for 25 experience levels, or a Fabricator for 40 experience levels. So he's literally a trader. Alan can be summoned by giving the skeleton an iron block or and or an ion cube so you're probably asking yourselves what do you mean by skeleton well there's actually a new structure added into the mod and that is the actual precursor structure so we're going to of course go and see that in the overworld before we do that i want to show off all the blocks so here's all the blocks that the precursor structure is made out of this is what it has in it as actual blocks you can actually craft these blocks i believe yeah, you can't craft them using ion cubes and the different floor blocks, etc. You can make all that. And the final thing is the Percuser arm, plus eight armor, plus two armor toughness. So if you put this on, as you can see, I have an arm now. It's pretty scary. And you can actually use this thing to, I believe, fight with. But I'm not entirely sure how to make it actually function. Oh, shift right click to pick up mobs. So uh, let me go in survival. Let me walk over to Alan over here. So if I shift and right click, oh, he's, oh yeah, I picked him up. See, now I can just carry him around with my arm. And then if you want to drop him, I believe it is, is it just right clicking. I don't actually know how to drop him. How, how do you, how do you, how do you, how do you, is it shift left click? No, I literally don't know how to put him down. He's just in my arm forever. Well, anyways, let's actually go to the overworld and check out the brand new structure that you can find in the world. So we are here in the world. I actually teleported to the Percusor structure. This is what it looks like when you find it. It's kind of a giant cube. I'm assuming it's meant to be underwater, but I guess it can be above water as well. If you're wondering, you can actually use a locate command to find it. Literally just slash locate structure, subnautica flow, and then the name of the thing and then you can just simply enter this like you would any other actually wait maybe you have to be in survival like i was saying you can enter this does it not let me enter because i'm not like oh oh wait let me enter okay there we go so yeah as you can see inside the structure is filled with actually the spider robots those are terrifying they have 60 health each and you can actually mine all these blocks if you want them for decoration, or you can just simply live here. 
but the uh the precursor robots pretty terrifying and you are meant to actually navigate this place because you're trying to find your way through can, can you let me i'm just gonna go into spectator mode you can actually go through this place navigate it doesn't look like it's completed yet it's very uh not detailed but you can actually find the allied skeleton here which you have to give the ion cubes to to activate and he makes terrifying noises either way though guys i think that is going to do it for this battle update i don't know why i called it a battle update but this update of the subnautica flow mod if you guys did enjoy as always leave a like subscribe if you're new and i hope to see you all in the next video down link for this will be in the description have a great day everyone stay safe goodbye